Hi, my name is Ken Asselson. This is a keep it silly, stupid um, video for people who are saturated by the site. And it's going to be straightforward, simple, follow the steps yourself, and you should be able to get some reasonable starting point. So, first of all, you log into the site. It's just page doesn't show up. Click My Profile, which takes you to that page. If you have multiple samples, then pick out one or pick the sample you are interested in. Now, your purpose is to change your microbiome. And there's a lovely little button here saying Change your microbiome. Click here. And what we're going to do is concentrate on consensus suggestions. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to do some of the suggestions. And then we're going to look at a consensus report here, which means we're going to take each set of suggestions, put them all together, and come up with a master list, which you can download as Excel and keep on your phone or on your device, whatever. So, consensus suggestions are different rationales of how you should adjust your microbiome. Which ones is best, we don't know. So, rather than arguing, oh, you should this one or you should choose that one, why not play it safe? Do all of them and see if things, if we have agreement on all of them. If we have agreement on all of them or most of them, then that's probably the best choice. So, we're looking for the best suggestions using our current knowledge and many different attitudes or views of doing it. So, usually what I do is I pick Jason's as the first one and it gives us a suggestion. I don't even bother looking at suggestions because it's automatically saved. So, I'll now go back to changing microbiome and we'll see, ah, we have one. That used to be zero. Now it's one. Now I'll go down and usually I go over to standard lab which is a slightly archaic way of doing things for the microbiome. It is what what is done in most labs for things like um, cholesterol, etc. We're going to do that. And now we get those suggestions. You will notice up here it says which bacteria were selected. So that's just a FYI. We go back. We go down to the next one, which is box whisker. There. Click through. We get suggestions. Box whisker. We end up with 34. We're picking more bacteria. If you're interested, you can just click here and see which ones are there. Going back, we now go down to cut off Maltrop ranges. And we have 71. We have a couple more, so it's about the same. We go back. And the last one is we get to pick what percentage. Now, default is 10%. You could say, okay, no, I we're only interested in ones which I have more bacteria than 95% of people or less bacteria than the other 95. In which case, 95, I would change that to 5. I'll get suggestions. We see we have 20 bacteria selected. Go back. So now we have five packages of suggestions. Okay, want to see it? Click here. Voila, and there we have everything listed from there. The suggestions take the typical things, so things like antibiotics or antivirus are excluded, and we have things there. You can go and say, okay, uh, but what I'm really interested in is something like probiotics. There's a, the probiotics, which are the best ones. Word of warning, some of the probiotics suggested may not be available at the retail level. The information comes from clinical research studies, so the bacteria or the probiotics suggested may not be available in your part of the world as a retail probiotic or anywhere in the world. Some of them appear to be available in the Repub in the in China, which means if you have friends in China, you may be able to get sent over and then just pray the custom doesn't stop it. So you can go also over, if you go to antibiotics, antivirals, absolutely nothing because those are excluded from that things. You can go over and do herb and spices so you see which ones are the best. Herb and spices, often people go over to using oils like peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, etc. Um, you can also look at food. So we have vinegar, turmeric, which is sabina, 
Avalon Lime, Golden Seal. Um, and we just can go through Flavor Noise, NAC is sitting there, Gaelic, and other things. And again, by clicking on, you will go over and get more information on it. And Amino Acids, Melatonin is there. So that's basically it. Very straightforward process. And then just don't get saturated with this massive list, which is 520 items on the list. Click which what you're interested in and it will give you a subset of the list ranked from highest priority down to negative priority. In other words, these are things you probably should not be taking. They would sh keep the shift which you're trying to correct shifted. So um, be aware that it's not just a matter of adding, it's also a matter of checking to see if you're doing some of the wrong things already in your dive. So that's it. It's as quick and simple and straightforward.